Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to be filming a haul because you guys know I love to film hauls. It's pretty much my favorite thing to film on my channel, but a little disclaimer, excuse my voice, my throat is killing me right now and I am trying not to talk as much because I keep coughing. I don't want to sit here and cough in this video. So yeah. Um, before we get started in this video, I do want to talk about something that I have been loving thus far. It's actually like a non-beauty favorite item, but I just had to share it with you guys. So here is the item. All right, here is my cup that I actually got from Ghost Valley Beauty. You guys, they have been showing me so much love on my channel and I really do appreciate them for doing that because I get to try out some really good products for you guys and just you know share with you guys my thoughts and opinions and this is actually something that was like non-beauty related so when they asked me if I want to uh, review this um thermal I was like uh hello yeah because it was actually um I want to say it was right during like when it was still cold um and I thought it was pretty cool because this product can actually keep your drink hot yes it can actually keep um, your drink hot for up to six hours, which I thought was really good because you guys know most like thermals or mugs, within like an hour your drink is pretty much cold and you have to like reheat it in the microwave, which this one you don't have to. And then at the same time, it can keep your drink cold as well. You know, so I just thought it was pretty cool. So yeah, I did get this from them. You can actually purchase this product off of Amazon. Um, this is just what the top looked like on it. And I've actually, I have let Ricky use it as well because he do like to take these kind of things to work with him in the morning because he drinks coffee pretty much like every morning um, because we wake up super early in the morning. So I did let him use this so he can put it to the test as well. And it's also stainless steel. So pretty cool. And it's also BPA free, which is actually good. And one more thing, you guys, if you put ice in here, it can keep it like frozen, like not frozen, but you know, keep it like in its shape for up to like 24 hours, which is so cool. So again, anything that's hot up to six hours, if it's something like ice up to like 24 hours, and again, it is stainless steel and you can get it off of Amazon and it's freaking amazing. So I have been loving this a lot and I'm just going to sit him because it's a guy looking cup I'm just gonna sit him back here but moving into my haul um I did get a few things from Ulta beauty supply store and Walmart so diving into Ulta first this is my first product is my makeup revolution and they actually had their stuff like a few of the eyeshadow palettes on sale and I do have a few of the eyeshadow palettes in my collection already but I kind of figured since it's on sale I'll just grab like another one so here is what the palette look like and you guys know this one pretty much caught my attention because it's more like a warm tone eyeshadow palette love the colors in here and i actually do have this palette on my eyes today for my eyeshadow look and i did film a tutorial using this palette so you guys will be seeing that very soon if the footage turned out good um but here is the inside of the palette i can actually tell you guys a few things about it so far colors in here definitely pigmented and they blend out really nice as well however a few of the matte shades were super powdery so whenever i would like hit my brush to get the access off it pretty much just it was like powder everywhere so um I don't know if you can see like a few of them have like a little powder kick up on it right now but yeah some of them are super powdery but the shimmers that I use like I used this one and I used the gold one it was definitely packed in there very nicely so that one didn't kick up as much however like these two right here and then the brown one right there definitely had a lot of kickback to it so do keep that in mind um, I'm just gonna swatch a few colors for you guys because I haven't even swatched it yet I just dived into the palette when I put it on my eyes but we can swatch it together for the first time and they're swatching very nicely so super impressed and I'm not surprised because I feel like their products have been really good consistently across the board and I do want to get more stuff from them because I do want to film like a one brand like a tutorial using like their products um but here is a few swatches of the eyeshadows for you guys as you can see it swatched really nicely super pigmented and I think that was the best I want to say it costs like five dollars that I could have used for this eyeshadow palette because again they did have it on sale I'm not sure how long the sale will last um but I'm happy that I got it so moving on this next product is actually a repurchase because I cannot find 
my other one um it's going to be the shayla city mini palette you guys know i haul this back in the winter time and i told you guys it's a really good palette super pigmented and she did an awesome job with this palette but i can't find where mine is so i had to just repurchase another one while it's still in stock i'm not sure if it's limited limited edition or permanent but it's been out for a couple months now so i feel like it might be permanent but i'm not sure but before they got rid of it i just purchased a new one so yeah um, next product by Ulta is going to be the Patrick Star and MAC collab. This one is called Mama Star. Um, I want to say they had this on sale because they had it um, where all the other like sale stuff was with the other few MAC products. And the color actually caught my attention and I always wanted to get something from his collection. I just never got around to it. Um, but this particular color definitely caught my attention so I kind of figured go ahead and get it. And I do love MAC products. And I have heard nothing but good stuff about his collection with them. And this color is definitely my kind of color. It looks like an everyday really pretty like pinky nude color. Um, it's swatch right here. So cannot wait to play with it. And again, it's the Patrick Star and Matt collab. And this is actually from his first collection that he had with them. So again, they had it on sale and I went ahead and I bought it. So Moving on to my next item is actually going to be something that I always wanted to purchase but you guys know whenever it comes like comes down to like buying stuff I'm always like the last person to like buy something and then by the time I haul it I'm like uh this is so old now but I don't care I still want to show it to you guys. So to be the Makeup Revolution concealer and this product was pretty much hyped up back in the winter time and for some reason I just could not find my color and I was just like you know what I don't care anymore I don't want it and I just pretty much like made it an afterthought but I was in Ulta and I was like well let me see if they have it and they actually had it. I'm in the color called C13 and here is the concealer. This concealer is amazing. I actually had bought this one and I have bought the one from Flower Beauty at the same time because I just wanted to try some new concealers and um, I actually hauled this in my sephora haul video um but i can tell you i do love this concealer a lot i use it in my makeup tutorial as well that i filmed um with the eyeshadow palette and i do like this a lot but yeah this one is super amazing definitely full coverage easy to blend out i want to say if i had to choose between the two i think i'm going to be leaning more towards the one by flower beauty only because i love the way it feels under the eyes it's super lightweight and i just love the way it feels like it just feels like you have nothing under your eyes and i love the way it covered up my bags because i do have a little bit of baggage under my eyes and it covered it really nicely um so between the two i like this one more but this one is still a really good concealer and you know i'm happy to have it in my collection as well um moving on to also i did only get one thing um, I did only get one thing from Ulta which is a purchase that my friend Andrea told me to make because she was pretty much like loving this product and it's going to be by Profusion and she actually was the one who told me that they had like an eyeshadow palette because you guys know I love Profusion. I pretty much talk about them all the time on my channel. I have the highlighter palette, I have the contour palette, I have the blush palette. Um, so you know she knows that I love their products a lot so when she saw the collection in Target she was like excited they're in Target and they have like an eyeshadow palette and I was like wait what so um here is the actual box for it I actually have the palette right here and it sits right here in the middle but I couldn't wait for the video to like use the palette so I already used the palette already but um I did leave like the lip products inside because I wasn't in a rush to use the lip products because I have so many but the palette I was wanting to like dive in first um so you do get a nine piece eyeshadow palette you get a matte lip liner you get a um matte lip cream and you also get a blended eyeshadow brush which actually looks like it's a good brush so again hair is what everything else look like but hair is the actual palette right here it is going to be their mixed metals peach palette it is a nine matte and metallic eyeshadow palette here is the inside of the palette again i have dived into this palette already and i do love this eyeshadow palette you guys it is so pretty on the eyes it blends out so nicely and i was just so surprised 
by how well it is because you know I just kind of feel like Perfusion is one of those brands where they don't get enough credit for their products and they have some really good products and I do think people are sleeping on them a lot I'm not gonna sit here and say that they don't have some palettes that's pretty well some items that's pretty much like a dud because I mean all brands have like some hits and some misses I do think for them being like a like a more affordable brand they don't get enough love and they do have some good products so I am just happy to see them in Target. I'm happy to see them growing and yeah. So here is the mirror on top. So love this palette. I do want to get the other ones. I want to say they have two or three more that I want to get my hands on. But just wanted to try that one first and then of course go back for the other ones afterwards. Alright, moving on to Walmart. I think I went to Walmart strictly for like essentials. So I did pick up um, by Neutrogena. It's going to be their makeup remover wipes. Um, this one says hydrated on it. So I think that's what pretty much caught my attention was because it said hydrating and you guys don't have dry skin. Um, and I definitely wanted to just give it a try, see how well it works. I haven't used a cleansing towelette in so long on my face because I've been using like um, makeup removers that's like your like actual like face products you guys know i love the one from it cosmetics i pretty much ripped about it in my favorites video so i just wanted to go back to using a towelette for those days where i don't want to like actually do like my full-on face routine wanted to use that so hopefully it works because i like their products and you know i just think they're really good to have for like on the go so yeah Next thing is going to be by Neutrogena. Again, it's going to be their Hydro Boost Exfoliating Cleanser. It says it, gen it gently exfoliates while boosting hydration for instantly soft, refreshed skin. And it has an hyaluronic acid. You guys know I love products that have in hyaluronic acid because it's really good if you have dry skin. Um, so here's what the product looks like. It is soap-free, oil-free, paraben-free, and non-comedogenic. And I just love the fact that it's an exfoliating cleanser because I love to feel like the beads when I'm like washing my face because it actually feels like it's cleaning your face. Um, so it does say that this light well gel cream cleanser with naturally derived skin smoothers effectively removes dirt, oil, and dry surface skin. Formulated with hyaluronic acid, it's clinically proven to increase skin's hydration level and lock it in for instantly soft, supple, and refreshed skin, generally enough for daily use. So super excited to try this out. I'm actually going to use it tonight because I cannot wait to use it. So my next product is going to be by Olay. It's a daily exfoliating um, body wash and it's it has a sea salt, so that's what pretty much caught my attention because I just, again, I love to feel those kind of like beads in like my face wash, my body wash, you guys know I just love to just feel it because it just feels like your skin is being like cleansed and clean. So super excited about that. And then my last few purchases is actually going to be from the beauty supply store and I went there to buy some lashes because I don't feel like paying full price for lashes. I just don't and we much want to see what they have um but i did pick up some lip products that pretty much caught my attention here they are these were all like a dollar 99 and the one brand caught my attention because i actually used them before but they actually caught my attention because the packaging remind me of somebody else packaging which is kylie cosmetics packaging um but this is going to be the forever matte liquid lipstick from ruby kisses you guys know I love Ruby Kisses. I have their highlighter in my collection, which is right here, which is called Bronze Glow, which I have pretty much talked about on my channel God knows how many times. So I kind of figured I would just try this one out because, again, the packaging was really cute. Remind me of Kylie's packaging with the whole, like, dripping of the, um... It's like something dripping. It almost looked like liquid or something. And then I love that like rose gold packaging. So definitely had to just try it out. But um, I only bought three. The first one is called Trust Me. Um, it's going to be like a really pretty like mauve pinky nudie color. If you guys can see it. Just going to swatch it for you. I actually used one of them already when I went out the other night. And it did not stay on my lips so i wouldn't say it's a full true liquid lipstick because i ate i drank and it was gone however i love the way it felt on the lip it was not drying at all like 
you guys know I hate a liquid lipstick that's going to be like super dry on my lips because I have dry skin um, and it was not drying at all. It almost felt like a whipped consistency on my lips and it was super smooth and easy to put on. Application of it was really nice. It went on very evenly but it just did not stay on all day long. Um, I haven't tried it in terms of like wearing it without not eating or drinking so I'm definitely going to try it again but I like it regardless if it doesn't stay on because I just love the way it felt and the color is really pretty. So that is that one is called Trust Me. Again it's a really pretty like mauve pinkish color. Love the applicator on it. It has like a like a dip in it if you guys can see it which makes it so nice to apply on the lips and I just think it's a really pretty color. Um, next one is called Angel Wings and here is Angel Wings right here and I actually do not have it open so let me open it really quickly for you guys. Alright so here is Angel Wings. I cannot wear this color by itself because it's a very like, well, I don't want to call it a vibrant pink but it's not my kind of pink to wear alone. Definitely going to have to pair it with something else but I just wanted to try it because I want to try different lip products that's out of my comfort zone and just kind of see what can make it work for me so that's going to be one of them and the last one is called tippy toe and this color I thought was really pretty it's more of like my kind of color so I kind of figured go ahead and get it it's a dollar like nine not gonna hurt the bank and here is tippy toe right here again really pretty it's more of my more of my color and I think it'll be really pretty for fall and here it is right here on my hand. Alright, so moving on to the last three. These three are going to be um, whipped lip glosses. It's from Nika K. And I do like, I want to say I have their nail polishes. And I want to say I may have a few of their lip products. I cannot think if I do or don't. But I know I have like their nail polishes. But when I saw these products, I wanted to just, again, give it a try. Because you guys know I love lip products. Um, so I already picked up three and the first one is going to be called Coyote. Really pretty like nudie colors, like a straight nude like brown color. So I thought that was pretty cool, super interesting. And when it said like a whipped lip gloss, I was like a whipped lip gloss, like what's that? Haven't tried it yet, I'll be trying it really soon but this color is freaking gorgeous. And here it is on my hand, right here. Alright, the next color is going to be called Redwood. And again, I don't have it open, so let me open it for you guys. Alright, so hair is Redwood. Really pretty color. Again, it's more of like a nudie pinky color. So pretty. <clears throat> and here it is, right here on my hand. Alright, last one is going to be Cardavon. Cardavon. And here is that color. It's like a peachy, pinky color. It's so pretty. And here it is right here. So pretty. So if you guys want to see these products like in a lip swatch video, or if you guys want to see me like pick up more of these to do like a dedicated lip video on it, let me know. I'll be more than happy to do so for you guys. And my last product is going to be by Eco Tools. Is their enhancing eye set. It's pretty much two brushes where you have like it's dual ended. So you get a shadow brush, a definer brush, a blending brush, and a smudge brush. I do like their brushes. I actually have a few in my collection. They're super soft. They work really nicely because you guys you got to have a good tool to have a good eye application. And I just thought the price of it was really affordable. So I kind of figured why not get it. So yeah, you guys, that's pretty much my haul. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Of course, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.